Hello gardeners. Today we're going to look at the Painted Lady Butterfly. These video clips are from springtime the past few years. That's when I see the Painted Ladies most often. For me, the Painted Lady is a true migrant butterfly, meaning that I see it in spring, possibly spread over a month, but maybe for only weeks or even days. Then they move on, bound for Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. But when they do pass through, it can be dramatic. The last time we had a large Painted Lady migration was in spring 2019. That was the year of the so-called super bloom, and the abundant rainfall created more lush vegetation that was very favorable for wildflowers and Painted Ladies alike. I shot some video of a stream of Painted Ladies passing through our backyard from south to north. Some of them lingered around our garden for a few weeks, then nothing until they made their return in fall. I may see a few in October or November, but so far it's never been as many as in spring. Many kinds of butterflies have a presence around our garden that varies from constant to frequent to only occasionally. Cloudless sulfurs, gulf fritillaries, giant swallowtails, morning cloaks, and monarchs come to mind, as well as a number of smaller butterflies. But as for the painted ladies, I have to content myself with seeing them for just a matter of a few days or weeks. Then they move on, and when they leave, they travel fast. They can fly at 25 miles an hour, which is faster than you can run, and they can cover more than 100 miles a day. When migrating, they usually fly very close to the ground, but they have been known to fly up to 10,000 feet in order to catch a tailwind. And now, let's look at some other interesting facts about the Painted Lady. Okay, that's all for now. From here in Fullerton, California, this is Rob Briggs wishing you happy butterfly gardening. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below about a topic you'd like to know more about.